Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, and today I'm going to look at a reel I just got. This is a Cast King reel. A lot of people ask me about that. This one is a bait caster. It's the Bassinator Elite. It's not an inexpensive reel. The reel retails for $179. It's um, a very lightweight reel, very interesting reel. I thought I would share with you a minimum of an overview. And if I have a moment or two, I'm going to try and take this apart, give you an inside look as well. So the, the Cast King reel is uh, by Cast King. They're located out in uh, Long Island. Uh, it's an upstart firm. A lot of folks like these. This reel has a 10.1 uh, to 1 uh, plus 1 ball bearing setup. It's an 8.1 super fast retrieve. It's got carbon uh, side plates, aluminum frame, carbon handle, cork handles, and um, I believe it's um, got the uh, carbon drag system in it as well. Very nice reel, easy to uh, work, easy to spin. And uh, let's take a look at some of those features and functions. First one I want to introduce you to is one you don't see very frequently. I just did a YouTube short on this one. It's a line memory. And uh, it starts with uh, number two and it ends at number 14. It's a little arrow right here. And it's a simple wheel. All you do is turn it to remind you of what type of line you have on the reel. Interesting. Well, it has a lot of features, so let's go through some of those. One of those is a rather easy opening side plate. You have a switch down here that's going to open it up. When you open it up, you can swing it out of the way, and it's attached. So it's not going to fall off anywhere. Uh, there's a lot of these, as we know, we do a, a quick quarter turn and a whole piece will come out. This is uh, not a mag version of, of the real mag adjuster or anything. The spool is rather simple. It has a ball bearing on one side. And I believe these are eight, six or eight, six. Six adjustable brakes inside the reel. And these are just by pulling the little pieces in or out to set it. And you can get kind of an, almost an infinite amount of adjustment there. Well, on the other side of your case is your other ball bearing. So that other ball bearing here makes the two for this spool. It's going to make that spool spin nice and easily. Well, we're going to close that up for a moment. And we'll come over to the plate side. We'll see what we can do over there in terms of showing you the, the pieces to this now. So it's got that spring cover. It's I got a nice ergonomic design to it. It's having a little issue putting this in at the moment. We will get that. This is a left-hand drive reel. There we go. And all you have to do simply to reload the case is push it in, hold some pressure on it, flip your switch, and you're done. Again, as I mentioned, it's made in Korea. Left-hand drive. It's got, um, got a nice feel to it, a palm feel to it. And um, the cork handles, I kind of like the cork handles all around. We're going to take this off. We'll see what we can show you inside this reel in the time that we have in this video. No sense doing this as a service video. It's a brand new reel. But probably the manufacturers get a little nervous when I go ahead and see what it looks like right out of the box. But uh, why not? I like the reel. There's several of the Cast King models that I've had. I've had the... Um, uh, Sharky bait feeder. That one worked out very nice. Also had the Megatron and that one worked out nice as well. Here's your uh, carbon fiber um, handle blank. We have two washers on there. We have a set washer and then we have this little click ring washer. I like the others. I'm just going to lay them on the table here. I don't intend to do a whole lot of uh, uh, repair or anything to this other than take it apart and see what's inside. The star adjuster, the spring. This should walk back now. I don't know if we need to take the nut off to take the case off. We'll find out in a moment. One, two, three screws and they look like a, to be micro driver screws. I understand it from this reel that it is a, uh, a machined aluminum main gear. But again, we'll find out. And uh, a lot of folks ask me, you know, can I recommend a reel of that? I don't generally do that unless I have personal experience with it. 
Some folks have been asking about the cascade, casking, and well, and now I have a casking. When I take the screws out, I want to lay those down. Make sure that those are all the same size. Be careful if you're doing what I'm doing. They sometimes have a habit of bouncing off of a hard board. I know there are a lot of people that do work on reels that put a towel down, and that's uh, that'll stop the bounce. That's for sure. If that's something you want to do, go ahead and do that. Just be careful. All right, those are the three screws. This should come up now. Just looking to see. I probably should have checked. There's probably one screw underneath the, the spool when I took that off. It would make sense to put one there. And of course, they did put one there. There's a screw right here that needs to be taken off as well. That's something that I didn't see when I opened up the box with the documentation. I did not see the schematic for this. Also, that screw is longer than the others. Now we should be able to remove the, the case. And I'm thinking now I probably had to remove the, uh, the nut here. So bear with me. It's the first time I've been working on one of these. And uh, sometimes, well, sometimes I kind of become a learning piece in progress here. There we go. So we have the nut. A couple more washers. And let's see if that enables us to take this off now. It does. Okay. So here's your inside look at the reel. There's a little spring that was just hanging in there. So let's make sure we put that back on. But this is typical of what you will see in the reel. I understand that the drag washers in this reel are uh, provide about 17 pounds of max drag. That's an awful lot. Uh, machined aluminum gear. So that shouldn't uh, get corrupted. Brass pinion gear. That's your yoke assembly, and um, this is your free spool release. Now remember, you're looking at a left-handed version of this reel, so uh, you need to appreciate that when you are uh, looking at the right-handed version. This is all mirror image. All right, let's so put that back on. I like what I see inside, and I like the mechanics of it. I think it's a nice reel, and I think it's, it's priced where it should be. All right, we're going to just lock that up for a moment. I'm going to take the outside screws first and put this back. Well, if you like these kinds of videos, I don't do real reviews that much, but if you like these kinds of videos, including how to take apart and service the reels, well, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe to my channel, please use the notification button. That notification button will tell you when I'm posting videos, and uh, you can see if you... Uh, if it's a video you want to watch. There's an awful lot of videos that I do and uh, a lot of them center on being repair videos. Not all of them, but a lot of them center on being repair videos and they'll show you how to do it yourself. Right, I'm just going to rebuild the stack here. I know I have a couple more screws to go. I just want to get these off the table so that I don't, uh, don't knock them out in the back. Okay. There's two more screws. One of those goes in the back plate here. That's the third of the same size screws. And then we have the one that goes where that uh, the spool is. It's amazing how manufacturers have come from putting all of your screws right on the, uh, the face to hiding them. To give it more of a, a clean cosmetic look, I guess. I don't mind them being exposed. But I guess once one, one does it, everybody wants to do it. It's somewhat of a good idea. I know a lot of the screws that I work on, on certain fishing reels, we wind up with a lot of salt and crusted issues because those screws were exposed. I'll put that screw spool back in again. Close down that barn door there. 
lock it in place. Come over to the other side. We've got a couple more of these tension washers that need to go on. So if you uh, if you endeavor to do something like this, maybe you uh, you're wondering what uh, what went wrong along the way. Well, one of the things you would like to do is you want to check on these to make sure that you've got this backed up with pictures, and whether you use regular uh, photos or whether you use the uh, um, movie cameras like I'm using here, or whether you have some other way to do that. Once the spring is on then, we can set this. This is just a press down. There's no screw with this. You gotta just want to make sure that you lock it in over that nut. There you go. You'll know when it comes down. Then we have a small washer that goes next. Then we have that click washer. Then we have the washer that goes on top for the handle. Then the handle. Then the cap nut. And all of this has to be done while you're holding that star adjuster down. And get it started by hand. Make sure that you don't cross strip it. I think I have it, but I just need to make sure. I've had a couple of folks bring in reels that have cross stripped this cap. And well, besides being embarrassing, sometimes it, it's catastrophic as you can't um, find the replacement part. All right, tighten that down. Then we have our cap cover. You need to align the cap cover with the screw. I just got lucky there. It did line up. So this is a nice reel overall. There's nothing that was skimped here. Again, the pricing is $179. But it's a smooth reel, 10 ball bearing, a kind of state-of-the-art uh, materials inside of it. And, and just a beautiful reel all around. So if you're looking for an upper end, whether you want that uh, left-handed drive, like I use, or uh, you want the uh, right-handed drive that comes in both models. Same reel comes in a, uh, a mint green flavor for $20 less for some reason, called the Ninja. But uh, the classic ones, they're running $179 these days. And if uh, that's in your budget and you'd like to see a, use a nice reel, oh, I can say with certainty that I can't wait to put a line on this one take it fishing. And I'll let you know more about that as we hook it up to a rod. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, please like the video. Again, if you want to see more of these, please subscribe to my channel. To all of our first responders and essential personnel, thank you for everything it is that you do to keep us safe. Your efforts truly are appreciated. And to all, please stay safe, stay well, and stay watching. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.